Hi everyone. Here's a follow-up video to my Turn Cheat Engine Cheats into Python Scripts tutorial video. Now in this tutorial I went into how to use pointers and uh, be able to read and write memory uh, via Python, uh, except I only showed how to do it with integer values, not with floats or doubles. So I wanted to just go into how you could do this with floats and doubles. And the way I'm doing that is with this thing that I put together just from code I found online called process interface. And what this allows you to do is pass in the name or part of a name of a process and then it will allow you to read and write the memory. Now in these read and write memory functions, we can pass in the address, we can pass in data, and we can pass in the length. Now the data is going to be in the format of a, a C types object. Now these C types objects in this case are double and float. But if we're using 64-bit memory or 32-bit memory, then we want to either use a uint32 or uint64. Now this is for step 8 of the Cheat Engine tutorial. I'm going to release another video on that right after this one. So right now we're just going to do step 4 on the Cheat Engine tutorial. And this involves finding a float and a double. So in Cheat Engine here, I've already found the addresses of these values. It's pretty simple because there's only one float and one double that has the value of 100. So what I've done is I've taken these addresses, which are in hex, and I've copied them into the Python script. And by putting 0x in front of the address, we can keep it written as hex without converting it to an integer. So first thing we're doing is we're reading the double value here. And so we're doing c double from buffer. And to this function, we're passing the argument of the return value of process dot read memory, which is our process interface here. And we're passing the address as double address. And buffer size is eight because a double value is eight bytes and buffer size is in bytes. By default, it's four bytes. A float is four bytes, which is why I don't have it here. And by the way, the way we've opened this process interface is we've imported it, we've instantiated the class, and now we're calling the open method with tutorial. So it's going to search for an executable with tutorial in the name, uh, which the Cheat Engine tutorial has. We're also importing C types, by the way, which is how I'm getting these double and floats objects. So I'm reading from memory the double value here and the float value. And so these are C double and C float objects. And the way to get their actual value in Python to be able to work with it like a normal float or double, you have to access the dot value member of those two class instances here. So what our script is first going to do is it's going to print out the values of both of those, which right now they're both 100. Then in order to complete this tutorial, you have to set both of these values to 5,000 or higher. So what I'm doing here in a, in a loop, not necessary for it to be in a loop, but others require a loop. So I'm just, I just wrote it this way to make it easier. So we're using the write memory function now, the same address, except the value we're passing is a C double object with a value of 5,000 and a length of eight, because again, doubles are eight bytes. And so we're doing the same for the float here. And then we're just sleeping a little bit and then repeating forever. So when I run this script, what should happen is that in cheat engine, we'll see those values hit 5,000. And then we'll see this next button enable itself. So let's run the script here. So there we go, 5,000. And there we go. We've 
past this part of the tutorial. So we have both successfully read and written float and double values using nothing but a Python script. And that was the whole point of this video. Next video will be multi-level pointers using my new process interface script. So look out for that in half an hour maybe. Thanks for watching.